Hello everybody, I'm Roma and today we're going to take a look at the new Yulanzi GoPro aluminum vlog cage version number 3. Before I'm going to start with a review, I just want to mention one thing, this video is not sponsored. Yulanzi did send me this unit for a review, but that's about it. And also, if you like to purchase one of those cages for yourself, I'm going to leave links down below in the description. Now, with that being said, let's start. So, this is how the new GoPro aluminum case looks like. This is how the old GoPro vlogging case looks like. It's made out of plastic, made by the same company. Now, let's see if you should get the aluminum case over the plastic one. What are the main differences between these two? First of all, the price. This one costs 15 US dollars on Amazon. This one is 30 US dollars on Amazon. Should you pay $15 extra for this one? Let's find out. So the differences between these two is obviously this one is made out of aluminum. So it's gonna be much more durable, sturdier, heavier too, but it just feels more solid than this. This feels like a cheap little toy. This feels like a premium thing. Now also let's look what features this case offers over this one. First of all, you can mount filters now, 52 millimeter thread. This is a UV filter, 52 millimeter. Let me just show you. And you can mount now ND filters. You can mount uh, polarizer filters, UV filters, or whatever you want to make your GoPro footage better. That's one of the main differences. On this one, you can't really mount any filters because you have this thing around the GoPro lens and because of that, you can't really mount any filters. With this case, you also have this door in here on the side, which is really cool. What this door does is basically provides more security for your cable, for your GoPro microphone adapter cable when it's plugged to the GoPro. Let me show you. So as you can see right now, I have the GoPro microphone adapter plugged in. And now if I want to connect the microphone adapter to the GoPro, you see I have this little door here from aluminum which you can remove if you want to. And then basically I can connect it like this. And this door here on the side provides more security for the cable so it won't unplug by mistake. This is an awesome feature because sometimes it happens to me that I vlog with the GoPro and by accident someone touches it like this and it unplugs and with this, it just provides a little bit more security. On this case also the hole, as you can see, is a little bit smaller than this. It's really tiny. And on this one, you have just more space. Okay, now to the back. Here in the back, you have a sliding door and you basically put your GoPro like this. And it's very secured in here. Even without the door, it's not moving at all. It's really secured inside. You close it like this. And the thing that I like about this case is look how much space you have for the screen. It's easier to touch the screen with this big cutout for it. So as you can see now the GoPro is on the plastic case and you just don't have as much screen space to uh, touch the screen and stuff. Now this is the right side of the aluminum case and you have an extra cold shoe mount so you can mount extra light, extra microphone, extra something else. And you also have two quarter inch threads in here to mount even more stuff. Whereas on this one, you don't really have anything. You just have a cut hole for the power button, which is again, extremely small in my personal opinion. Here is much bigger. You have more space. I can actually put my finger through it. And with here, it's a little bit smaller. Again, it's just more comfortable to press the power button with this case rather than with this case, in my opinion. It's these small little things that make the difference. This is how the aluminum case looks from the top. You have a cold shoe mount to mount a microphone. The cold shoe mount also goes a little bit upwards, which is nice. Nice big cut hole for the record button. And this is how the plastic one looks. And this is the microphone adapter slot. Now here you have a quarter inch thread, so you can mount it directly to let's say, for example, a tripod if you want to, just like so. And if you don't want that and you want to mount this case on a regular GoPro mount. Inside the box, you'll have this thing. 
a GoPro adapter mount, two bolts that you can screw in here. And then you'll have the regular GoPro mount adapter. With this one, unfortunately, you stuck to this mount. You don't have a quarter inch thread, so less versatility. I find it also much easier to get the GoPro microphone adapter in this one rather than in this one. Let's do a quick test. All right. I'm basically done. With this one, it's a little bit more of a hassle because you have to kind of, I don't know, play with it. It's not the worst thing, but again, it's just those little small things that makes the difference. Now let's see what is the weight difference between them. This is the aluminum case, 130 grams. Let's also put these things, uh, the GoPro mount. 139 grams, let's say 140. And this plastic one obviously is gonna be much lighter, only 40 grams. So this case is three times heavier, but also it's gonna be pretty much three times more durable in my opinion. Maybe not three times, two times, but definitely aluminum is more durable than plastic. One thing that I want to try now, I want to mount the Rode Video Micro on top of the aluminum case and see if the GoPro picks up this wind muff in the footage because on the new aluminum case, you have this little curve that I showed you and it's supposed to put the microphone a little bit higher. So let's see if it works or not. I must say the aluminum case looks much more professional than the plastic one. And this is how it looks. Joby Gorillapod, GoPro aluminum case, Rode Video Micro, microphone adapter by GoPro. Let's see if the GoPro picks up uh, this wind muff in the footage. So this is right now the footage from the GoPro. Can you see the big wind muff in the footage or not? I'm gonna try to shake the camera just a little bit. Probably when I'm shaking, you'll be able to see it, but how it is when I'm actually vlogging. Let's just walk around my house and see how it looks. By the way, the sound that you hear right now is coming from the Rode Video Micro and the GoPro. Let's just walk around my house like I am vlogging. And at the same time, you'll be able to see my house a little bit. Test, test, test. One, two, three, test. Test, test, test. Huh, I have a finger smudge on the GoPro, clean it. Test, 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 one, two, three, test. Let me know if you can see the wind muff in the footage. By the way, I'm filming at the wide field of view because I know for certain with the super view, the GoPro will pick up uh, this wind muff. Now let's try the same thing again, but with the Yulanzi uh, plastic case. Okay, so this is how it looks now with the GoPro plastic vlogging cage, the same microphone, same wind muff, and I'm gonna do another tour in my house. By the way, this case feels much lighter. It is only 100 grams, but this case is really small, so 100 grams makes a lot of difference. It is lighter than the aluminum one, but the aluminum one feels much sturdier, more professional, much more durable. And as far as I can see right now, the Rode Video Micro sits at about the same height on this case and on the aluminum case, so I don't think there'll be any difference. And if there will be, it'll be very, very minor. So is it worth paying the extra $15 for the aluminum vlog case? In my personal opinion, definitely yes. With this one, you can put ND filters and other sorts of filters. You can also put a light and a microphone at the same time. Let me show you. I don't really have a light at the moment, but I do have a phone holder. And look at this, you can mount on this cage a, a phone and a microphone at the same time, and you basically have now a selfie screen. Is this kind of thing important to you? To mount uh, extra accessories and also to mount filters? And also don't forget, aluminum is much more durable than plastic. Again, I'm going to leave links down below in the description for both of these cases, for the aluminum one and for the plastic one. And in my next video, I'm going to make a review uh, on this Yulanzi L1 Pro waterproof light, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.